Hey everyone, I am so excited to just bring forth a quick clip before you today. Just in my time with the Lord today, just feel a real unction to just reach out to as many as I can. I um, just want to talk briefly to you about something that is burning in my heart this morning. As in my time of study, I just began to hear the Lord say that many people are miserable and they are miserable because they're in the wrong place at the wrong time. And what he's saying is that there are many of you, you're in the wrong place. And as much as you may not like to hear this, hear this, especially as a believer, but many of you are in the wrong church. And so because of that, your life is miserable. You are living a miserable life. You're living a defeated life. You are living life less than what God intended and anticipates for you to live because you're in the wrong place. It's just simply because you're in the wrong place. You're up on the wrong teaching. And so you are stuck in a time zone and in a place that God has moved away from years ago. Times, time have passed. And so some of you, what I'm saying is some of you are stuck in the place living up on the condemnation, living up under the law. When God has moved away from that, he has sent his son to become the fulfillment of the law. So you no longer have to live up under the law because you have been removed from the law through Christ. And so in many churches today, they are still teaching the law. They're still um, having people to live up under condemnation, still got people believing that this walk is dependent upon them and them only. But now as believers, those that believe in Christ and because Jesus have come, he has now taken your place. He has fulfilled the law for you so that you and I could live this life of grace and that we could live it in freedom, we could live it in peace, and we could live it full of joy because of what he has done. And so because you don't know that, many don't know that, they are seated in certain places um, and they are feeling so defeated. They have no joy, no life because they're still trying to work out a salvation that has already been worked for. Them. And I know many are saying now, but the scripture says, work out your own soul salvation. That means work out the grace that he has put in you. Work out what's in you. Work out that grace that he has placed in you. Work out those gifts, those talents that he has placed in you. He's not telling you to work out a salvation that's already been paid for. Your salvation is a free gift from Christ and it has already already been paid for and given to you through Christ. So you're not working for a salvation or working out a salvation. You are working out the grace that God has given you um, on the inside to work out. And so I'm, I'm telling this story and I think I'm kind of um, urgent to express this today is because I met a lady on yesterday, been in this certain church for years, for years and just miserable. She's feeling like, you know, the best thing for me to do is just check out. The best thing for me to do is just God come and get me. And she was so unsure. And she said, I just want to know, am I saved? I just want to be so sure that I'm saved and I just want to be anointed. I, I want the, I want to feel the Holy Ghost. I want this. I, I, I want she just kept expressing all these things that she wanted and the, the assurance she wanted to know, am I really saved? And, 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 but I know there's a cause to the anointing and, and I, you know, am I willing to pay for it? You know, still in that mindset and being taught that you got to pay for the anointing and how can I pay for an anointing that's already been paid for, for me? And see, it calls you to do these things and live a life when you don't know the truth. The anointing has already been paid for. You cannot pay for an anointing. You can only receive an anointing. Yes, we increase the anointing. How do we increase in it? By increasing in the knowledge of the anointed one. As we increase in the knowledge of Christ, we increase in the anointing. And so she's thinking that she's got to do all of these things that's already been paid for. And she's miserable, wanting to check out of life. Because she felt so, she feels so defeated and a lack of teaching, a lack of knowing who Jesus is, a lack of knowing what's been done for her. So she's feeling she has to do all these things, do a work that's already been done. And so she have no peace, no joy. Come on, somebody don't understand righteousness. And the Bible says that the kingdom of God is not meat, eat and drink, but it is righteousness. It is peace and it is joy in what the Holy Ghost. 
and so she don't know any of these things and living a miserable life in the church but miserable because she feels that this life to be lived is dependent upon her and her only she's feeling that she have to work a work that's already been worked and so she's not able to enjoy her salvation because she's in the wrong place. So I am commissioning you and I'm talking to you out there. Even I'm talking to believers and unbelievers. You need to get to 2315 Montague Avenue extension in Greenwood, South Carolina. Come on. Yes, it's Kingdom Works Ministries, 2315 Montague Avenue Extension in Greenwood, South Carolina. It is the place where the gospel of Jesus Christ is being preached. It is being teached. It is being lived out. It is being expressed. Come on. You need to get there. You need to be in this place where you can hear about the real Jesus. Come on, somebody. The real Jesus. He does not want you to keep living your life miserable as a believer. He does not want you to keep going in circles, going in circles, just as the children of Israel did in the wilderness because of unbelief, not knowing something, ignorant to this, ignorant to that, but he wants you to know the truth about him. You are his beloved and he is well pleased with you. He is pleased with you. He told Jesus the heavens open. When John the Baptist got ready to baptize him, he said, this is my son and whom I am well pleased with. I am pleased with you are my beloved son and whom I'm well pleased with. Jesus hadn't worked any miracles yet, but the father said to him, I'm pleased with you, son. I want you to know you're my beloved. You're dear to me. You're precious to me. I cherish you. You're my favorite. You're my pet. And he says that to you today. But if you're not in a place to hear that, you will spend all your life and all your salvation walk trying to please the father, trying to, to gain his love, gain his acceptance. And you already have it. But if you're not being taught that you are trying to pay for a paid situation, you are trying to pay for a car that's already paid for. You're trying to pay for a life that's already been paid for. You're trying to pay for love that's already been paid for. So, but if you're not in a place where you're being taught that you will continue in this life miserable and that is not the father's heart for you. So today, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't know about every church, but all I know about where we are and I know about what we teach and I know about what we preach and I know about what we believe. I'm not putting down any other church, but I will say this. Some churches are the wrong churches. They are not the right church because they are not teaching the right thing. And if they're not teaching the right thing, you're going to live out the wrong thing. You're going to walk in wrong thinking. You're going to walk out wrong thoughts. You're going to live a life that you was never designed to live. And this life in Christ is a blessed life. It's the best life you could ever live. But if you don't know that, you will continue down a path of misery and pain and guilt and shame that you don't have to. The Bible said, Jesus said, come. That's why he said, come unto me, all of you, all of you that are heavy late, all of you that are burned down. He said, I will give you rest. Come, take my yoke upon you and my burden for it is light. Take my yoke upon you. It's easy. My burden is light. It's not heavy, but it's light. It's easy. Come and learn of me. Learn of me. Learn of me. But if you're in a church where all the pastors and teachers and leaders are doing is talking about themselves and, and, and talking about sin and, and, and telling you about your sins and your failures and all of this and not teaching you about Christ, you will continue to live a defeated life as a believer, as a believer. But that is not the will of the father for you. So I'm making a petition for our church. I'm not making an announcement for any other church, but I'm making an announcement for our church in Greenwood, South Carolina, 2315 Montague Avenue extension in Greenwood, South Carolina, Kingdom Works Ministries, International Community Church. It is a place where the presence of the Lord abides. We house the presence of God in such an enormous way that every week our lives are being transformed by his presence every week our lives are being transformed by the teachings of the good news of Jesus Christ he came to give you good news he came to make you feel better he came to make you look better he came to make you live better he came to make you think better come on he came to make you and I life better 
better, not miserable, but better. And if you don't learn about this Jesus, you will leave here before your time because of being burdened down with the cares of life, burdened down with the rituals and the rules of religion and never had an opportunity to enjoy your savior. But if you wanna know about him and you wanna learn of him, I invite you to come. I petition you to come. And I'm gonna step out on the water and say that your heavenly father is calling you to come because it is a place that we have dedicated this house to the Lord, to him and him alone. It is a place where we have decided to place all value on the son and not on ourselves. We're not there to talk about or preach about ourselves, but we are there to share the good news of Jesus Christ. And he wants you and your family to hear it and believe it and receive it and begin to live out this glorious life that Christ came, died, and rose for you and I to have. So again, I invite you to Kingdom Works Ministries International Community Church, 2315 Montague Avenue Extension in Greenwood, South Carolina. On Wednesday nights, we have Bible study. It's called The Healing Room. It starts at 7 p.m. until... On Friday nights, we have supernatural prayer. We have prayer every Friday night. Come on, somebody. Every Friday night where we have an encounter with the presence of Almighty God, with the person of Jesus, the Holy Spirit. He comes and he settles with us in that place. And he so transforms our lives every Friday night at 7 p.m. Also now, we have prayer every Tuesday and every Thursday from 12 o'clock p.m. to 1 p.m. at the church. Come on, you are invited. Come and experience the presence of the Lord like never before. And on Sunday, our services begin at 10 a.m. At 10 a.m., that's every Sunday service. It starts at 10 a.m. And so we want you to come. We want you to come and enjoy the presence of the Lord. Come and learn about the real Jesus who loves you in a real way. Thank you so much. And I pray that this blesses you. Share this with everybody you know, those you know that need to hear it, that they will come. Have a blessed day. Amen.